I got it. Hello. Oh. No. Manny. No, Manny. You God. Can't, you can't show up here. I love what you did with your hair. You Thank so you, Manny. I wish you wore a suit, I but I love what you no did with your hair. Stuff. Hey, take it easy. I heard about the band, but come yeah, work please, with me for a little bit. This isn't a good time. I can't work good? with you, man. Why not? I can't talk right now. Okay, something is going on with Dad. Hey, good to see you. You have to stop Let's texting me. Let's go for a walk me. around no, the block. No, stop texting me. Why are you talking to me this way? Come on. Don't look at me like that. I just miss you. I can't just say that I miss you. Stop looking at me like that. How can I not look at you? You kidding me? Are you kidding me? Please. Look, I'll try. I can't do it. Mm. Oh shit! I should not have done that, Manny. I got. But you go. did do I it. Go. it was I gotta go. Bye. Come on, Don. Whoa! I like this. I like this too. <laughs> Get up. Rewind. I'm I'm sorry. I don't mean to put you in an uncomfortable position. We're gonna be working together for years and it's Boris, I wish to talk. Clyden, why are you awake? It is early. We have not discussed that which I have been wishing to discuss for some time now. Can it not wait until a later hour? It has waited far too long, and you know it. We have been over this. My duties to this ship require a substantial time commitment. That is not good enough. I am your mate, and I have needs. I am aware of this, but I am also a bridge officer. You are saying that your job is more important than me? More important than our baby? No. But you were prepared for what our life would be when you decided to come aboard the Orville with me. I was not prepared for such neglect. I cannot talk about this now. Where are you going? I am getting dressed. I cannot sleep. I am going to begin my shift early. Hey. Uh, you get any sleep? Barely. Some coffee? Yeah, thanks. You still a little sore? Yeah. Next time Smurf gives me a call, remind me to take a sledgehammer on the phone. Does she know you're upset? Yeah, she does. She's been trying to call me the past three days. Hey. My family sucks, too. Your dad's kind of a dick about you being gay. But my mom started to shoot out with my dead brother's girlfriend, so... It's not a contest. Yeah, well, if it was, I'd win. The kitchen's completely redone. Brand new dishwasher, fridge, farm sink, and you're right off the ocean. No, I think 1.4 is a little steep for a two bedroom. You could Airbnb when you're away. 350 a night, four in the summer, offset the cost of your mortgage. Might even turn a profit. Yeah, and the L.A. douchebags can come down and clog the line up. That'd be a great idea. You're not from L.A.? No, I'm from here. Yo, ah, uh, there's a shower. Why don't I give you some time to look around and you can meet me outside? Thanks. Why <laughs> think this place has too much light? It's not a thing. I can't believe she thought I was from L.A. That's a compliment. How is that a compliment? <laughs> okay. You know, you just keep armpits showering out of the sink at your bar. Come here. Hey. If we win the showcase and we go on tour, I'm taking you with me. There's no reason for you to be homeless when you got me. I just wanted to prove to everyone that I'm still me, but maybe I'm not. Tony, even Carrie White could stand up to her mother. Hey, Cheryl, 
You gotta show your mother who's in charge. I don't know if I can anymore. I'm not the same girl who burned down Thornhill and cut off her oxygen. Sure you are. You're not done playing Carrie, Cheryl. Not by a long shot. What a surprise. Cheryl.